guys hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole 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 lot for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel yeah i do seriously i appreciate you guys you guys are like the best i with day day in day out i am getting to understand my subscribers more so i really appreciate you guys okay today okay before i continue if you are new to my channel if this is the first time of you coming across stylish niger youtube channel i would appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button and then also hit on the bell just beside the subscribe button to get an update whenever i upload a new video so once you hit that bell, once I just drop a new video, you are going to get like the alert, let me call it that way, <laughs> on your phone. Okay, so uh, let's uh, continue. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew uh, this off-shoulder rope blouse. So you could see uh, the blouse, I really, I used to have something like this. Uh, so I'm going to be making, showing you guys how to actually make this blouse. So you could, what I have, what, what is on the picture is actually a crop top, but mine, I'm not going to be making it into a crop top. I'm going to make it into a full blouse. So that's what we're going to do today. So this uh, top, you can actually adapt it into any, um, any um, dress, any style. You could adapt it into a peplum blouse. You could adapt it into a gown. So you could actually do whatever you want to do with it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to achieve it today so before i continue um the fabric that i'm going to be using i have i'm going to be mixing my ankara i want to use two ankara so at the end of the day when you join they are from my leftover um, projects that i've done in, on previously so if you join them together i'm going to have like about one and a half yard of fabric so that should be enough to do this um blouse so we're just going to continue now so i'm going to use this one for the back this part is going to be the top part where the rope is so I'm going to use this for the back and then the down part of the front. So let's just continue. So I folded out my fabric and then I used my back, um, my bust measurement. That's what I use in folding out this fabric. So my box is actually 36. So when you, um, you divide 36 into 4, you are going to have 9 inches. So I added 1, 2, 3, 4 inches extra allowance to it. So you could see what I have. So this is the back pattern. So what, what we're going to do now, we're going to draft out an off shoulder and um, pattern so on this dread on this fabric so i'm going to use for this i'm going to use about six inches to drop normally i would use five inches but for this i just want to use six inches to drop it and then the full uh, length of my blouse is actually 20 it's actually 22 inches so i'm adding two inches to the top so um, i'm just adding it here that two inches is what i'm going to use to create the casing that i'm going to pass the rope through and then I have um, just about half an inch that I'm going to fold. So I'm going to insert uh, the basic lines that I have here. Okay, so I'm going to um, mark out my basic lines now. So the first line that I have here, I'm using six inches, like I said, is my bust measurement, which is 10 inches. And then the next measurement that I have here is the under bust measurement, which is 14 inches so i'm using 14 normally my regular and both under bust measurement is 13 but i'm going to use 14 because i want it to enter properly so i'm using 14 and then the full length of my the full length of my of my blouse is actually 22 inches so i added another two inches to it that's 24 that the the, the essence of the two inches is to create a casing for my rope and then i have about half an inch down just to hem so the first measurement i'm going to add is my shoulder measurement and my shoulder measurement is 14 when you divide 14 into two you have seven this is seven inches i'm going to mark it here like this and then from this point from this seven inches point now i'm going to reduce my measurements for me to get out the neckline i'm going to reduce the shoulder measurement by two so I have five inches. So when you measure like this, now I have five inches. So this five inches is going to serve as my neckline. So from this point like this, now I'm going to mark out the neckline. Depends on how deep I actually want it to be. I can decide to just leave it straight. So I'm just going to drop the back neckline just by one inch. So I have like seven inches like this. So I'm just going to 
I'm going to curve this like this now. So this is um, the neckline. So from this point like this, I'm going to slant this point like this to create out my armhole. So for the armhole, I'm not really using... Um, okay, so for the armhole, okay, for the sake of people that will not know. So let me just use about 8 inches for my armhole. So from this point, now from this, this is the neckline point. So from this point like this, here is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slant the neckline. Slant it into this point. So this forms my armhole so from this point now i'm going to take out my bust measurement like i said it's like i'm too fast so let me just relax a bit okay okay so let's continue okay so the bust measurement is actually 36 so when you divide 36 into four you have nine inches so this is nine inches and then i'm going to add about two inches for allowance so from this point like this i'm just going to mark like this so i'll mark here like this and then the under bust measurement my under bust measurement is actually 30 inches so when you divide 30 into 4 you have 7.5 this is 7.5 and then i'm going to add on the same and two inches you know i added two inches on the bust line measurement so i'm going to add it like this and then i'm going to just mark it just connect them like this together so the next uh, measurement I'm going to measure now is the waist, the blouse waist measurement. So for the blouse waist measurement, you always measure around the top part of your blouse. So for this, I'm going to use 40 inches. So this is 40 inches here. And then I'm just going to use the remaining part of my fabric, which is about one inch. So that will serve as my allowance. So I'm just going to take my ruler like this and then I'll connect the lines like this. So you see this is just so simple and easy and then we're going to cut out right now we'll cut out the neckline like this and then you cut to the armhole and then you cut the side okay so that's that so for the shaping of the blouse i'm going to shape the down part together so this is here is what we have now so our zipper allowance, I'm just going to put a notch like this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut out the down parts of this, that's this whole section. I'm going to repeat it for the front piece. So I'm just going to take from my leftover fabric like this now. I'm going to place it like this. So... I'm going to place, let's say I'll have allowance, I'll, to have a stitching allowance that I'll use to stitch it. So I'm just going to place it like this. So I'm going to cut, I'll repeat this part, this half part now. I'm going to repeat it. So you know I have, I added zipper allowance to this part. So you're just going to move it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this part like this now. So you see what I was talking about. So the next thing I'm going to do now. I'm just trying to shape so I'm going to shape this blouse properly so in shaping here's what I'm going to do I'm just going to use one inch on this side like this Okay, so you see what we have. So this is the down part of our front piece. It's really simple and really easy. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to create out the front piece. So for the front piece, you know my under bust is actually 14 inches. That's what I'm, I, I used when I was measuring. I used actually used 14 inches for the under bust measurement. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create out... I'm going to cut out a fabric of about 16 inches. The remaining extra 2 inches is what I'm going to use to do the casing. So once I'm done, after connecting it together, the excess, I'm going to trim it out from the down. You know, when I was cutting the back, I actually added that extra 2 inches to the back piece. So once I'm done, I'll trim all of them out and then get my accurate measurement. That's the length measurement. So what I'm going to do now, I'm 
measuring out 14 inch this is 14 inches now and then i'm going to make it 16 inches okay so i'm going to cut out this what i have here now okay so the amount of fabric that i'm using so i'm just going to it's just like a straight piece of fabric so here is what i have this is the width of what I have. It's just like my, uh, you know, Ankara is 45. So this is just like the full length. That's the full uh, length of Ankara. That's the length. So what I actually have here is 22.5, which is 45. So when you open it up, it's about 45 inches. So you see it, it is straight. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to take it to my machine. And then that two inches, I'm going to fold the two inches in. That's for the top part. I'm going to fold it in. That's just what I'm going to do now. So I'll do that and then come back and show you. We'll continue. Okay, guys. So you see, I finished folding it. So here is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bring bring it to the middle like this. And then I'm going to create a notch here. I'm going to create like an opening here. That's where I'm going to pass the rope through. So it just creates a tiny opening so it should not be too big so just on the front and parts alone like that okay so the next thing we're going to do now you're going to take the center from the down part so you notch the center this dress is actually optional you do this down part you can decide to add a dart to it so it's optional you can decide to put a dart, you can decide not to put a dart. So I'm going to come to the center also of the top part of the down body. So I'll put a notch here. So the essence of the notch is just to help me, to guide me on how I'm going to pleat it. So here's what I'm going to do now. Take this part now. I'll pleat everything that I have here to fit it into this part. And then pleat this part to fit this. So for the fabric, for the top part, you can decide how much fabric you actually want depends on how full how close you want it to be so that is what you use to determine what amount of fabric that you want that you will cut out for the top part so i'm going to go and pleat it now and then come back and show you okay guys so you see i finished fixing it now so here is what i'm going to do now i'm just going to fold it together like this so what i'm trying to do now i'm trying to get out the armhole so I'm just going to take the back piece and then I'll place it from the under bust part like this. So let it enter properly. So you see, it's entered properly. So what I'm just going to do now, I'm going to trim out those parts now as my, for the front arm hole. I'm going to trim it out. And then I'll use this shape like this just to shape the side. okay so we're done the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to pass my rope through it i'll pass one from this point and then i'll pass the other one from this point also so you are going to cut out just and create like a rope like this that you are going to use So you divide the rope, you divide it into two, so that was why I was cutting it, and then you pass through and then let it come out from the center. Remember that part that we notch in the center. So this is it. Let it come out from this point. So you just bring it out from this point like this. Okay, so you see, I finish. So this is the rope. So it's like my rope is a little bit too long. So I'm going to cut it a little bit. So you can do any inches of your choice. So I'm going to reduce it. So the front part now, you are going to pull it. So you're just going to determine how much uh, pull you are going to pull it. But I'm going to use the back neckline. That's what I'm going to use to pull it. I'm going to pull one side up to the back neckline point. So you see what I have here like this. 
so this is just okay this is for the back neckline so what i'm going to do now for the, my back piece i'm going to include my dart so you use half of your bust spam measurement remember your zipper allowance and then i'll use half of my bust spam measurement which is eight inches so i put my notch so i'm just going to go and do a regular waist dart on those points now and then for the front piece also i'm going to add that like i said i said it's optional so i'm still going to add that to the to the front piece also so i'll use half of my bust spam measurement so i'm just going to add the dart up to this point so i'm going to do that and then i'll connect the back and the front together so i'll come back and show you how to actually do that okay guys so you could see so the back piece i finished stitching the back so i used a facing for the back neckline you know since i did not do i did not line this dress so the next thing you are going to do you are going to take you are going to draw the rope and then make sure that the necklines from this part you know this is the armhole part so just make sure that it's it corresponds with this point before you start taking out your full and body measurement so make sure it corresponds and then this side also you see this side is a little bit shortened so what you are going to do you are just going to re release the rope so once you reduce release sorry the rope so you see the neckline so it is it is perfect the front neckline and the back neckline then the arm holes they are equal so the next thing you are going to do now you are just going to take out your full body measurements your bust measurement your under bust and then your waist blouse waist measurement so that's just that so you divide all of your measurements now you divide them into two and then you take out the measurements now And then I'll come to the under bust measurement also. I'll use my under bust measurement. And then for my waist, my blouse waist measurement. I'm going to trim out some excess. So I have some excess. I'll just trim it out a little bit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go and stitch it together now. So for the sleeve, the sleeve on the picture, I'm actually not going to do that sleeve because for me that sleeve is just it's a little bit too busy for this dress so for this i'm just going to do a regular um sleeve or i could even just hem this armhole area like this i can just hem this armhole area and just i'll make use of this dress just like a just a casual dress you can wear it inside and use it for a jacket so if you want to do an off shoulder sleeve so once with your off shoulder sleeve pattern here is how you are just going to connect your off shoulder sleeve to it if you want to fix a sleeve to this dress so this is my off shoulder sleeve pattern so you are just going to take it like this and then you fix it on this point so thus you after joining the side you, you fix your sleeve on this part so this is your the shoulder pattern then this comes in like this. so depends on any off shoulder sleeve of your choice that you want to do but mine i think i'm just going to hem this part like this and then i'll use it like that so i'll just come back and show you the completed dress so i'm just going to go and stitch like this and then hem the down part okay guys so you see i finished stitching my dress on the side so the next thing i'm going to do now so for the sleeve like i said the sleeve on the picture is too busy for me so this is just like a simple top so I, i'm not going to be doing it i really do not like that sleeve so what i'm going to do now I'm just going to create out a strap that I'm going to use to connect the sleeve together on this point. So you could create out any strap of your of your of your choice. That's any width. You could you could decide to use slim strap like this. 
So I'm going to create it of about six inches. I'm just going to attach it to this point like this. A strap of about six inches. I'll attach it and then I'll hem the arm hold part. So I'll come back, I'll do that and then come back and show you. So I'm using six inches, like I said. That's what I'm going to use. I don't want it to be too deep, so I'll use six inches. Sorry, that's six plus six, that's 12 inches. So I'll fold like this. It's going to be 12 inches. Note, it's going to be 12 inches. So when you open it up like this, I have about 12 inches. So that's that. So that's what I'm going to do. You can decide to make it longer, it depends on how deep you want it to be. So I'll do that and then show you now. Okay guys, so you could see our off shoulder rope blouse. So you see it actually came out beautifully well. So you see this top part. So like this mannequin, her bust is a little bit smaller than mine. So once you put it on, you just pull it up to however you want to. So like I said, if you want fuller front, you could increase the volume of, uh, that's the width of this. Uh, fabric for the top part and then the strap I forgot to actually tell you I actually used six inches that's 12 and then you add about one inch allowance to it that you use to stitch it just secure it so thank you so much guys if you find this video helpful I would appreciate if you will hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed subscribe and then share this video in your various sewing groups so thank you so much I'll see you in my next video God bless you all ciao